Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a huge Goodwill outlet, otherwise known as the Goodwill Bins Thrift Haul. This is all going to be exclusively sourced from the bins. I found over 50 items and here in Houston we pay $2.49 per pound. So that usually works out to about $2 per item. And yeah, we have quite a bit to get through, so let's go ahead and get started. As always, I will start off with a pair of shoes, or I will start off with shoes, and we do have only one pair. These are by Cole Haan, and they are a leather heeled booty. I'm definitely going to keep my eye out for boots and booties with fall and winter time approaching on the horizon, I guess you'd say. These are a size 10, which is a great size, and they're in pretty decent condition. So I'll probably expect 35 to 40-ish from those. Next we have a gorgeous piece by Zara, Zara Woman. I believe this was a blogger favorite by Zara, which is fantastic news. That basically just means that bloggers have taken Pinteresty pictures in this particular item and they are floating around on Instagram, Pinterest, that kind of thing. And a lot of people see those pictures and want to replicate the outfit. And so yeah, I will be sure to add bloggers favorite as keywords into both my title and description for this piece and it should help it sell. It's gonna be kind of hard to show. Maybe I'll add in a stock photo, but it has a wide lapel or collar, I guess you'd say. It's a vest long line camel colored in such good condition so chic so contemporary minimalist also boho though and this is super high quality it is just zara but it does say handmade which i mean you can't get more high quality than that i feel like it's 45 percent wool 30% polyester, 25% viscose, and yeah, I mean, this is just so pretty. It has really no pilling or signs of wear. Okay, so I stumbled into a bin. I was so tired, it was closing time, and they rolled out one final rotation, and I really rallied. I gave myself a little pep talk. So glad I did, because one person had very clearly donated some incredible items. And I just parked it, looked through every item in that particular bin, and I loaded up some, on some amazing finds. So they very clearly were a f fan of this brand, Lunia, which is one of the most popular brands right now out there. It's basically luxury sleepwear. So this is a 100% silk cropped button down pink top. And I did find the matching pants, which you guys can just imagine my excitement when I found the top and then I did find the pants. They're full length pant with a slit. And I mean, these, I don't know if they were worn. They are in such good condition. This is a washable silk, which is what this brand is known for. And yeah, see the tags, the inner tags look, they're like really, new looking still 100% silk. So this set retails for $278. And I I need to look up comps. I'm thinking I will list that for probably around $200 just because it is in such good condition. The demand for the brand is very high. And yeah, I am just so excited for that. Okay, next, more of that brand. I just have a stack here to show you guys. This is all in the same bin. This is like a fuchsia colored, again, 100% silk maxi dress. This one does have some fading to it. You can tell that this one was washed and worn. But I still wanted to get it because it's overall in good pre-owned condition. And like I was saying, the demand is just so high for this brand that I can still price it a little bit lower and make an amazing return on it. I think this one retailed for over $200 as well. I'll probably list it, I'm not sure, I need to do some research, but probably still like 75-ish 
possibly a hundred, even with the fading, just because, I mean, the brand is so hot. I also found a jumpsuit by the brand. This is a modal blend jumpsuit, and this is the softest material I've ever felt. This retails, am I saying jumpsuit? This is a bodysuit. Was I saying jumpsuit? I can't remember. This is definitely a bodysuit. Ribbed, soft, slinky material. This retails at $88, and I will probably list it 50 to 65. It does have the snaps. And lastly, for this brand, a sports bra, which even though this isn't a super substantial piece, this will probably still sell for 35 to 40. It has the logo, which should help it sell. And this is in excellent condition, size small. So yeah, that was thrilling to stumble upon all that stuff. That stack right there, I'll probably make back 300-ish dollars. And I probably paid seven, well, I don't know, maybe five to seven dollars for all of it. So I mean, it's just mind blowing what you can find and sell from the Goodwill outlet. Okay, next up we have a pair of lounge shorts from Everlane in this mustard color. I just got these as like a, you know, cute little lounge short. Pretty much anything from Everlane sells for me, kind of like that Lunia brand. Everlane does have a pretty high demand, I would say. Mod cloth, size large, super cute dress here with a plaid check print. It buttons all the way down, it's fully lined, and I believe these are all natural materials. Yeah, uh, self is 70% cotton, 30% linen, and lining is cotton. So this is breathable, lightweight, gauzy, really cute. More of a bread and butter piece here, altered state. But I wanted to get this because I thought it was so cute. It has a lot going for it. It's a peplum blouse with these textured pom-poms or polka dots, I guess you'd say, throughout elastic at the wrists, and then it does button down and back. Adorable. These I found in that same bin with the luxury sleepwear. These are Lululemon velvet, crushed velvet leggings, high rise. And these are a newer piece, so I can just easily Google the style number that is located here on the size dot, which I found in the pocket. And the exact style of these will pop up. They're size four, excellent condition. These don't look like they were really ever worn. So yeah, I'm sure at least 35, 40 from those. This dress is free people. It's missing the brand tag, but I did locate the inner tag and confirm that it's free people keyhole opening and back i mainly got this because it is so boho and gauzy lightweight i can add a lot of keywords into this and once again it is i believe all natural materials which definitely elevates the quality 100 percent linen shell so yeah really nice piece there zara size small newer tag i pretty much only pick up the newer tag these days is this a tunic or a mini dress i can't really tell but it also has that gauzy muslin brushed cotton material and a ladder or like lattice there's a word for this but i always forget what it is lattice design at the chest and wrists. So I thought this had enough going for it, some boho details, and with the nice breezy lightweight material, oh the tag has been cut out, but that does feel like 100% cotton. Okay, this is purely a style-based grab. The brand is just June and Hudson, size medium, but I thought these were so cute. They're a high-rise pant with a Glen plaid print, wide full length leg, and then this sewn in fabric covered belt with a circular 
center point. So yeah, I think these should sell well, even though I'm not too sure where this brand is sold. They are really soft and stretchy. They're in excellent condition. And I can add a lot of keywords into these. Academia, preppy, clueless, minimalist, contemporary, career, workwear, school. I could keep going. Okay, one of my absolute favorite brands to find and sell again very high demand for this brand similar to Lunia, Everlane, Cezanne, size 34. Every time I find this brand it sells within a couple days of being listed and this is such an adorable button-down printed shirt. It's the tomboy shirt with this floral print. Let me get a close-up of this. So yeah, I can add cottagecore, prairie with this print. So cute. That feels like 100% cotton. Oh, this was an amazing find. I swear, I found all of this stuff. I had been at the bins for probably like five hours that day. And I think I found like some bread and butter stuff. But then in the last like 30 minutes of the day, I just loaded up on incredible finds and I could tell that a lot of it was from like two or three specific donations and so that just goes to show you I mean you know someone else could have gone to the bins that day and came home and said oh it was a terrible day but you know just because I was there for five plus hours on average like if you take the average of the day it was a really good day so you really kind of have to have a lot of patience. You have to stick it out. It's not for the faint of heart shopping at the bins. And I mean, it usually is worth it the longer you stay there. Okay, so this is Lil, which is an anthropology sub brand, size eight, pastel printed maxi dress this is gorgeous i need to get this listed because you could wear this to so many like summertime events you could even wear it as like a wedding guest dress and i mean again this is in amazing condition with long line like maxi midi length formal event type dresses i always immediately look at the bottom hem for signs of wear to see if it was like dragged on the floor at all. And this had none. And I also look at the armpit area because you know, when people are wearing event dresses for multiple hours, you usually find some deodorant marks, but I mean, again, flawless. So I don't know if this was ever worn. It's gorgeous, such a substantial piece. The colors are beautiful as well as the cut. So I need to look up comps, but I'm guessing like 50 to 60 from that. Free people, we the free, size small, plaid dress. This is so cute, mini dress. I do remember this was also something I found on my way out the door. The only thing about this is that it's missing its buttons on both sleeves for some reason. So... You just kind of have to wear them open or I mean you could add buttons but I don't think that will keep it from selling the style is definitely there definitely oversized size small this Elsa Manda I mainly picked it up for the size style and material it's a size 1x made in Italy so it's a little bit higher quality I also did like this neutral colorway it's like a tan body with black half stripes kind of thing open front long line and then the material is a mohair wool blend so yeah probably 30 35 ish from that another purely style based grab japna which is one of my favorite bread and butter brands size so small tiered reptile midi skirt with a pull on elastic waist so you could do a lot with this you could just wear like a basic black blouse to coordinate or you could add a band tee a graphic t-shirt which would be super cute more of an edgy look it's fully lined and i think that'll go i would say 28 
possibly 30. More animal print. I have actually been enjoying picking this brand up recently. DG Squared. I want to say that's how you say this name by Diane Gilman. And this is sold through QVC. So I think a lot of people do know the name of this. Like I think it's a pretty popular name, popular brand kind of thing. And as long as this piece is substantial and good condition, I usually do pick it up. And I thought this was adorable. So it's a size 2X. Did I show the tag? It's a size 2X leopard printed long line blazer, open front blazer, kind of a boyfriend fit. The pockets are not faux pockets, they're real. And then some interesting buttons on the sleeve there. They have little lions on them. So yeah, this looked flawless. So with it being a 2X, I was actually pretty excited about this. I will add boyfriend blazer as keywords because a lot of people like that longer length with their jackets and blazers. Okay, next up, I was so excited about this. I have no idea what this brand is, Natural Life. I hadn't heard of it. But the fact that this was a large, extra large combined with the style cut and just overall vibe of the sweater. I was so happy to find it. So it says peace and it has a color block motif with the salmon base and purple trims. Definitely a laid back style with the drop shoulder and wide boxy body. You have the high low hem. Excellent condition. 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. So, and it's like a lightweight sweater. So this would be a really good transitional piece. I will probably list this at like 35 to 38 ish, just because it is so cute and it's in such good shape. I think that will fly out of my closet. I don't want to jinx it though. <laughs> okay. Next we have J crew classic button down shirt. I did Anytime that I find a J. Crew basic shirt like this, I do usually Google the exact style number to see how it is doing. And this shirt, I believe, had pretty good comps. Good enough for me to get it. It's from spring of 2020. I think it is brand new because it still has the tag barb. Cotton elast elastane, so it has a little bit of stretch to it. And the green gingham is really cute. Oh, this is more Saison, which is incredibly exciting. 100% silk skirt, pull on skirt with an elastic back. And it has an all over feather print to it. Two pockets in front with some pleating in back and it is lined. So this is gorgeous. This will probably sell 50 to 65 ish with no problem. Next we have Lulu's. This would be a great wedding guest dress or just any kind of summer event or even fall time actually with this color. It's kind of like a maroon color. So it's an all over lace midi dress, pencil dress. And some of the lace is sheer, so above the chest is sheer, and then through the midsection, I believe it's also sheer. So it kind of looks like you're wearing a bandeau there. It zips down and back, and this looked brand new, which was mainly why I got it. I will add in wedding guest dress, event, evening, date night, girls night, formal cocktail hour, black tie event, that kind of thing as keywords. I usually do that at the bottom of my listing, the bottom of the description of my listing. Maeve from Anthropology. I picked this up because it was a size 12, which is great. It's a boho print, linen blend, and it was made really well and in excellent condition. Zip and back. It is fully lined and the lining has such a cute little trim to it. Anthropology always has so many nice quirky little details which I always love to see. I want to say is this shell 55% linen 45% rayon. So yeah probably I would say 
30 to 35 ish for that. We have some free people. You guys know, I love my free people. One size kimono to tie front kimono with these very bat wing dolman sleeves and then the banded wrist. This print is so cute. This would have been adorable for 4th of July with some denim. But I mean, star prints are usually, uh, I usually sell star prints very quickly any time of the year. So yeah, I think this should do well. And I think the comps from what I'm remembering, from what I am remembering, were really good on this. So I'm expecting this to sell, I would say 30 to 40 ish. More of a basic blouse by Madewell, size small. These are definitely just kind of bread and butter bundle pieces for me, button down shirts by Madewell. I did like this beachy coastal striped print to it. And the cut is Lucy, Lucy, <laughs> loose and relaxed. Also Lucy, I guess you'd say. I wonder if this is newer. I usually try to pick up newer, yeah, spring of 2020. So relatively newer. Next, we have Victoria's Secret, new with tags, which we love to see, size medium sleep shirt, striped print, and this angel is velvet. It's a velvet texture. Uh, if this were not new with tags, I probably would have left it. It's 60% cotton, 40% polyester, lightweight and comfy. Ann Taylor, size six leopard printed dress so once again i will be able to add in career workwear animal print boho has a little flutter sleeve there's a button here i'm wondering i guess you can make the wrist see how there's a button here and then a little loop so i guess you could make the wrist oh that's cool you can kind of cinch it in if you want to do that. Wow, adorable. Or you can wear it wider. Let me make sure this, yeah, this one has both the button and loop also. So I'll have to take a picture of that. I didn't notice that earlier. Zips down and back lined. These were an excellent find. Newer tag Athleta in a plus size 14. Vibrant red athleisure shorts. Anytime you have something that is like an athletic fabric or athletic brand, but the style of the item is more loungy, you always want to add athleisure in both your title and description because that is such an in-demand category. Snap, pocket, and back. And the waist tie was still there, which we love. I always do a little happy dance inside my head whenever something has a belt and it's still there. These are from 2019. So not super new, but they honestly look unworn. So I'm still expecting probably 35 from those with the size and condition. First or last item in our first bag is by Eileen Fisher, size medium. I would classify this as a bread and butter piece for me at this point. It's a loose knit sweater with a dolman short sleeve. I guess this, this is definitely a tunic. Yeah, it's longer length, side slits, kind of a salt and pepper knit to it. Get a close up of this texture. This is definitely some kind of linen blend. Yeah, 72% organic linen, 28% cotton. So I don't know, with the longer length and the natural fabrics, I might say that this is a step above bread and butter just because it has so much going for it. And this probably retailed from Eileen Fisher for 150 to 175 ish. But unfortunately, unless it's like a super new piece that's like cashmere, angora, silk, a lot of the time the resale value just does not match up to that. But I do still always pick it up for the most part because it does still sell consistently. Okay, next we have a piece from Johnny Was. This is one of the sub-brands, 
or sub lines, I guess you'd say within the brand for love and liberty size medium silk tank very boho this does have just a little bit of staining here right in this region if you can see that and because it's silk i don't really want to mess with it i'm just going to disclose that and i think this will probably still sell for around 30 dollars just because it probably retailed at i don't know maybe 200 johnny was is so expensive and it's otherwise in good shape so yeah really pretty let me get one more close-up of the print and texture to this so cute i feel like i was going to say something about this but or something else about that but that's all that's coming to mind okay next talbots one of my favorite mature bread and butter brands and this is such a nice piece it's a two-tone uh kind of blazer jacket i guess you'd say with a almost feels like felt texture to it it's just really nice and this material shows wear very easily but this really has none let me get a close-up of this texture you have slip in pockets at the sides 90% wool 10% nylon so that checks out and the interior is a light gray so yeah really nice contemporary high quality piece there that probably retailed for a couple hundred dollars with it being 90% wool so I might list that close to 40 to 50. Next up we have BKE which is sold at Buckle. I pick this brand up sometimes usually if it's a slower day at the bins but mostly if it is a more kind of substantial piece that has a lot going for it. So this is a size extra large. It has a nice texture with this eyelash texture to it. I like the sleeves as well as the striped design you have that wide boxy body with the drop shoulders so yeah really slouchy really cozy really nice piece acrylic nylon and polyester did i see something on the back no i thought i saw oh what is that oh it's just a pool so for this kind of thing see this is a pull here I just take my needle threader and I stick it through the back side I put the pull through the needle threader and then pull the needle threader to the underside and that just brings this pull to the back side of the sweater you never want to cut pulls like that because that disturbs the fabric and it will start unraveling and then you will get a hole you just want to move them to the back of the sweater I think I have one I'll show you guys how I do it okay I have a needle threader here I've shown this on camera before but it's been a while so I'll just demonstrate really quickly okay so here is the pull so I have my ne needle threader you can see there's a tiny little wire there with a loop so you just find where the pull is and you stick the threader right behind it so it's sticking out there and then you move the pull through the needle threader make sure it's on the other side of the hoop so you can see it has been moved through the needle threader and then I just bring the needle threader to the underside and so now the pull is back there and it's like it was never there on this side so yeah that's my secret for that and now I don't have to disclose that flaw because no one cares if there's a small pull on the interior of a sweater and if they do that's a personal problem alrighty next up more free people size small essential green thermal waffle knit top here I have sold this in the past it's called the Santa Clara thermal and it will go for I would say 28 to 32 ish more bread and butter mg size medium this is pretty basic but t-shirt dresses and shirt dresses sell 
very well for me and this obviously falls into that category it also just has a lot going for it it's a mixed media so this blue and tan are cotton and then this leopard part is more of a rayon excellent condition really easy to just throw on with some sneakers and run errands that was a size medium okay next up a really cute quirky piece here i hadn't heard of this brand before mexicali blues i guess that's what it is it's made in peru of alpaca wool and it has this novelty lobster print how cute a rolled mock neck drop shoulder brand new this has not been worn there's no pilling no fuzziness it looks like it was purchased and then just like immediately donated and how nice is this embroidery it feels so high quality and yeah this is an alpaca blend so with the novelty print the material the condition I'm expecting probably 40-ish from this. I will add in keywords like nautical, preppy, main, lobster, coastal, and I mean, I think that should do really well. J. Jill, wherever collection. This collection, the specific collection from J. Jill, the wherever stuff, does sell really well. Size medium petite dress. I think it's really practical, soft, stretchy materials that are comfy but also a little bit more formal like this kind of feels like a pajama dress but you could definitely wear it to the office it's flattering with this ruched design on the side tahari size 8 shirt dress collared shirt dress and I remember picking this up because of the condition and material it's just a basic navy but it honestly looks brand new it kind of has that chambray look to it yeah it's 52 percent linen but it does have spandex so it does have some stretch to it i found two dolce and gabbana men's graphic t-shirts and i've already authenticated these they feel like the highest quality t-shirt I've ever felt so I'm a hundred percent positive these are real Betty page graphic on the front this one is a black color and then I also found the cream one so I'm not sure how these will do uh, I need to find some sold comps but I'm sure they will sell pretty well size 52 made in Italy and it has the hologram there or it did it looks like it kind of rubbed off because I think these are older and they have a little bit of staining but I still wanted to get them there's a close-up of the graphics another dress this one is by J Crew. I mainly got this because the shell is 100% silk and it does have some fun feminine details and just an overall vibe to it love these flutter ruffle sleeves and the vibrant paisley as well as this flutter bottom hem it's fully lined it has a v back also zips in back and it does not have pockets more free people another just kind of basic henley long sleeve top with this Base dye fabric, thumb holes, and exposed seams. Very free people. Uh, size large, which is great. This feels like 100% cotton. This is 63% cotton and 37% poly. So, yeah, probably I would say 28 ish on that. More bread and butter, MG tunic mini dress you could wear this as a cover-up it has crochet details at the shoulders and then this fun fringe trim and I got this again for something that people can bundle with or not I mean I could see that selling for 28 ish on its own 
This dress I have recently found, the exact dress, like maybe a month or two ago. So I wanted to get this one because I won't have to photo or list it because uh, I already photoed the other one and they both are flawless. So yeah, this will take me two seconds to list. I'll just screenshot the photos from the other listing and copy over the title and description. It is Maeve from Anthropology in a size four. If it's a different size, I'll just take a quick picture of the size on this dress and get it listed. So yeah, I love finding items that I either currently have for sale or have sold in the past. If they do, like if this had a small flaw, I would have to totally rephoto it just to capture the flaw or if it had any like fading or just any type of difference in the piece from the other one, I would have to obviously rephoto it. But if I don't, I'm ecstatic. Okay, next up, this I just grabbed because it was trendy and cute and looks unworn. Yellow button front cardigan with a pointel knit and embroidered floral design. Very cheery, very cute. That had no size on it, but I want to say it's like a size small. I will measure it. And I can see that selling for 25. Okay, next up we have a free people dress, size small. The comps on this particular dress were really good. I think because there were not a whole lot listed. There were several sold sheer sleeves. The bodice is lined and it does have a button down at the chest. Let me get an up close of this print. It does have a metallic weave to it. So yeah, really pretty. It's a mini length. I think this is just gorgeous. Basic pair of shorts here by Gap. I got these because they are size 14 slash 32. They are the cheeky short from spring 2020. So just an essential pair of shorts, great size, great condition, great wash. Um, and I think those should go probably 20 to 22. Linen piece, I can already tell. Oh yeah, this is Men's Banana Republic Slim Fit. I got this because it is 100% linen and it's a size large and it looks unworn. So I mean, this is probably like $98 from Banana and I will list it at like 30 or 35 maybe and expect 25 and I mean that's more than enough for me very bread and butter someone could wear this to like a beach wedding or really anything outside that you need to look a little bit more put together for sweaty buddy this is a great brand the demand is pretty high for this size large loose knit sweater this falls into the athleisure category because Sweaty Betty is an athletic brand, but this is more of a lounge kind of piece with it being a sweater. It's kind of vented, I guess you'd say. I don't know. I guess this would be good if you go to the gym, work out, you're sweaty, you're hot, but it's cold outside. And so you kind of need something to like throw on over your sports bra on the walk to your car. So you add this and it's very vented. So yeah, that's my that's my idea for this. Let's see what the, feels like cotton, 100% cotton. I could see this selling, yeah, 100% cotton. I could see this selling for like 35 to 38-ish. Um, it does retail for quite a bit. Okay, our last couple items here, and then I need to get across town. It's almost rush hour. I got this because it's new with tags, Eloquy. I'm not really sure I was confused by this. Let me know what you guys make of this. So Eloquy size 26. Okay, so that's the tag. So this is the front, but the front is so narrow, I feel like. Or maybe it does, I guess it does go out kind of far. But I just feel like the top part is so narrow. Okay, I think this small little part goes up kind of high and then yeah that's definitely what it is it's a high neck tank I just figured it out so I'll try to find a stock photo for this because 
it's kind of hard to tell what's happening with this tank. But it is new with tags, which is mainly why I got it. I do really like selling Eloqui. It's a great plus size brand that has a pretty decent quality to it. Okay, our very last piece for today is a robe. I actually found this with the Lunia stuff, and I had not heard of this. Blissy, but obviously when it was with everything else, I picked it up also. And then I looked at the interior tag. It says, made from 100% pure highest grade 6A long fiber mulberry silk. So if that does not scream, I am high quality, I don't know what does. I feel like it was also made somewhere interesting, but I'm not, I think this is like made in Australia. I wanna, oh no, made in China. But I wanna say this is an Australian brand. I could be wrong on that. But anyways, um, yeah, it's a silk robe. It's missing the tie. I remember, again, I was telling you guys, it was the last rotation. I loaded up on some amazing stuff, and then I had to go get in line, and I was itching to run back to the bin to see if I could find the belt, but they were, when it's closing time, they want you out of there, so I wasn't able to. And anyways, I think this should still sell. It seems like it's incredible quality. I want to say this retails for like, over $200, but I could be wrong on that. I need to do more research. But yeah, anyways, we'll see We'll see how that does, especially with it missing the belt. But anyways, that is it for this huge haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. Bye, y'all.